this is John, and I am happy to be with you. We find ourselves meeting here today in a world that seems to have gone upside down. But that happens. Actually, it happens pretty much every five generations or so. And the cause of the misery in the world today is the same as it has always been. The fact that it's more dramatic doesn't change that. It's all due to the fear. All of it. The fear of the wrongdoers, the fear of the rightdoers, and everybody else. So, I want to speak to you a little bit today about the state of our work, because from my point of view, the only real hope we have is our work. I want to say that very clearly. The only hope we have is this work that destroys fear. So, and we have made some big, some pretty significant uh, steps forward in understanding our work. In fact, we've pretty much uh, Well, we've actually pretty much reached the end of our efforts to find a complete understanding of the disease of fear uh, because of a new insight into the role of the brain in the development of the mind. It goes like this. Your brain is responsible for monitoring all bodily activity and for making it available to the mind as electronic impulses that can be used by the mind to provide a basis creating appropriate understandings and actions as it monitors those impulses. <coughs> Again, the brain monitors bat bodily activity by means of uh, electric uh, changes in the, in the brain itself coming from the body and electric changes there. And it makes what it, it makes all of that available to the mind as electronic impulses to, um, that can be used by the mind to provide a basis for creating appropriate understandings and actions as it monitors those impulses. Informed by the brain as to the current state of our body, our minds form thoughts that we can choose between and use to determine from experience and natural intelligence what is useful, what is irrelevant, most of the stream is, and what needs attention. It really is that simple. The mind generates thoughts that can be used to do something about what's happening. Now please understand that I am not speaking here of brain science. I'm no brain scientist. I'm no scientist at all, really. Perhaps I'm a scientist of the fever. So I'm not speaking of brain science but only of what can be gleaned from careful consideration of the development and operation of our minds and of thought forms that are naturally arising and may be important. Anyone, anyone, I simply say one more time, anyone, whether hero, villain, or just an ordinary person, anyone, who will hear, heal their minds of fear by using our method will in time, with practice, learn to work with the mind simply, intelligently, and fearlessly with a skill that will deepen with every breath you take. Now this work, I want to give you a little... Uh, hmm. 
little history here. This work, just so you know what we are actually up to, this work has been the center of our lives for all of our life together. Carla and I met and married in June of 1999. And even before that, we were traveling as kind of itinerant spiritual teachers roaming the satsang circuit, speaking of self-inquiry in the matter of Rama. And for the next 10 years of our life together, we traveled a total of more than 100,000 miles on a circuit starting from our home in Ojai, south to San Diego, back north to San Francisco and Mill Valley, and from there east to Boulder, Colorado, and further east to Chicago, and many more steps along the way that I won't bore you with. Suffice it to say that the first 10 years of our life together was a life serving the practice of self-inquiry with our whole heart. But by the time that we set out on those regular rounds in 2008, we had actually grown weary, weary of making a living promoting a set of practices that we no longer believed in, although we hadn't noticed that we no longer believed in. And we stopped promising what non-duality could not deliver. Everywhere we went, you see, everywhere we went in those times, we met with the same people, asking the same questions, and enthusiastically embracing the same answers in a manner that seemed true and final till we returned. We never believed it was their fault. After all, we were responsible for our failure to help. We were the ones that were there for the purpose of helping. So it was our responsibility. But we had also begun to sense that there was something more human hidden behind the idea of the one self, and we set out to find it. That's what brought us here. Our discovery of the atmosphere of the fear of life as the cause of all psych psychological misery and the movement of attention away from it to be the solution was the result of our efforts. And as I write this, I tell you from my heart, as I write this, there are thousands of people all over the world who have tried our suggestion and reclaimed their minds and are living true lives with a true understanding of their minds that are naturally and usefully conscious and accessible to them. Those understandings, those true understandings. They come when the fear grows. But that too seemed a little too late for those who were promised heaven on earth by our spiritual teaching and now encouraged by us to abandon that path and reach for the true self-reliance by learning to use the power of self-directed attention. All who have done as we asked and tasted the satisfaction of gaining true control over their own minds have found peace and an end to fear. Thousands. If you, if you go to our website and read the hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of testimonials that are there, you can get a good sense of the gratitude that arises naturally when human beings gain control over their own minds. And the gratitude and sanity that will appear in any human being, no matter what they are doing now, if they will just rid themselves of the fear in the manner that we 
ask. I wanted to speak with you about this because, as you certainly already know, our species is, as I said, once again in deep trouble and in desperate need for sanity. When you look at our history from a healthy mind, it becomes agonizingly clear that our only real hope is for as many of us as possible to abandon fear and hatred for the fearful hatreds of life. We must find a way to bring help for the fearful haters of life. Not to demonize them, not to carry signs and, and, uh, and all of that, but to get free of the fear yourself and do everything you can to help us bring this amazing thing to the world. I don't have much else to say. I don't really think I have anything much to say, except this. I'm willing to talk about, with you, about anything that you want to talk about. But my, what I want you to hear from me is that we all need to work together to bring an end to this madness, to bring an end to this every, every hundred years the world goes crazy. We can fix this. We can put an end to this, but it takes giving some of your time, giving some of your money, giving some of your uh, willingness to, to uh, help us with practical matters. To tell everybody you meet, everybody that gives the slightest sense that they might hear this, Tell them about it. Send them to the website. Okay? I don't think I have much of anything more to say. Uh, but I'd be happy to speak with you. And, uh, you know... I guess that you know from Carla how to do that. I'm really grateful for your presence here. I'm really grateful for the fact that you all that are here understand something of what we have stumbled upon here. Please help. Please speak of this to your friends, your family. Please speak of this to anyone that gives you an opening to say something about it, send them to our website. We're not, uh, <laughs> we're, we're not going to take advantage of them. There is no human being on earth who cannot be saved from fear. There is no human being on earth that cannot be saved from the ravages of fear by taking control over their own minds. And we can tell you how to do that. Okay? All right. That's it. I'm done. <laughs> I mean, I'm not done. I'm still here, but I'm done saying what I have to say. Okay? I find that I am uh, a little um, curious as to why no one has anything to say about what I just talked about. 
it seemed to me that uh, the matters that I'm speaking about are current and are and 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 that I have shown a, a new understanding that makes our work much more practical and uh, ordinary than spiritual teachings. I felt that I had said some things that uh, are that you haven't heard from me before. And if it is, if you are not speaking because you understand everything I say, I have said and agree with it, that's okay. But it's hard for me to believe that that's the case. Is there are difficult and, and under and uh, important insights that I would like your help with. So you don't have to talk to me. It, that's not necessary. And I'm not going to say anything more about this uh, at all. And you are perfectly welcome to just stay here and spend some time in this environment and uh, and then go home. But no matter what you do now, whether you talk to me or not, we really need everybody to understand that the seriousness of the world situation is due to fear, to the universal, almost universal fear of life that causes all misery, all psychological misery, that causes all Hatred causes all war, causes all the problems. There is nothing about human beings that will lead them to the state that we have come to today other than the fear, the fear that drives them, the fear that, um, yeah. Okay, Lyra, love to talk to you. <clears throat> Hello, can Hi. you hear me? I can hear you. Okay. Very well. Uh, well I, I really just wanted to say hello. Hello. I haven't, yeah. <laughs> I didn't, I don't have a question. And I understand what you're saying about the world situation. I definitely can identify a lot of fear out there, and in here too. I mean, it's it's just prevalent. In here, so, meaning in you? Well, yes, I I do on occasion, you know, feel fear. It's not it's not pervasive in the sense that it's that it determines what I do or. Yeah, I, I anything understand. like that, but there, there is definitely fear that comes up um, here and there. Some things are fearful, and uh, yeah. <laughs> and there's a difference between um, <clears throat> intelligent fear that <laughs> that you know avoids the rattlesnake or whatever, and the the uh, existential fear that everybody. Most human beings are afflicted with um, the. Yes, I guess mine is is not as much the existential. Right. It's it's more just in response to Intelli what, you know, intelligent what kind of... uh, <laughs> concern about the way things are going. Right. 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 Uh, I can understand that. I have that. I don't think of it so much as fear, but I fully understand that. And the thing is, and I'm just, my only interest in all of that, it, you know, this happens every hundred years. I mean, really, it really does. It happens every hundred years. The last time it was in, uh, in the early part of the 20th century when the two, three, four huge wars changed, the, the, changed everything in the world. That was the last time. There was a time before mm -hmm. that when it was very similar to and the Civil War came about as a result of the things that were happening in the beginning of the century there. Mm -hmm. And the thing, that, uh, the thing to understand, to me, is that 
the people who are um, executing these hateful actions are not at fault for them. They may need to be handled, but they're not at fault. They are no different than you or I prior to getting rid of existential fear. And every, and every mind, as it uh, you know, c confronts the nature of its life in, in what, the, what it gets from the brain, every, every mind is absolutely unique. So, and it, God knows why one mind, like mine, my, me, when I was younger, before all of this, I was uh, f afraid of everything. You know, and that's why I went out and robbed banks and, and <laughs> did all of the other stupid stuff that I did. It's because I was afraid of everything. And I was hiding all the time. Hiding behind ideas that I tried to, to uh, make my own. And, mm -hmm. uh, and that's gone. It's gone. I am, if, if there's anybody who is a poster child for this work, it would be me. If you had any idea about the first uh, 50 years or so of my life, you would, you would be very much uh, surprised that I am as I am now. So the point I'm making is that somehow, and it doesn't, it, we have to be intelligent and we have to be practical and we have to take care of ourselves and look out for ourselves and look out for our family and friends and so forth and so on. But if we want this misery, this nightmare to end, we have to get this work out to the world. That's what has to happen. Nothing has ever stopped the workings of uh, the human creature in its century <laughs> in its centuries of uh, killing and maiming and killing themselves and all the other things that have been done. Nothing has stopped that. This does. This stops it. So my focus here is to find a way to get this out to my goal would be every single human being. But, you know, a goodly portion of them would, would be a good step in the right direction. So that's my focus, and that's why I am here, and that's why Carla and I are doing what we do, and this, what's happened in this last year has made, for us, has made it just more critical. Let this get out. Uh, yeah, I agree. I agree. You know, anybody, mm -hmm. the people who come here and the people who, who uh, go to the forums and all of that, they are, for the most part, clear of, uh, of the effects of fear. They, they become clear as time goes on. But all those people out there, all the crazy people, all the people trying to do good, all the people marching against one thing, in favor of another thing, whatever side it is that they're marching. All driven by fear. All of it driven by fear. The, it's just so obvious and so clear. So, so there, I, I guess that's all I have to say. <laughs> well, that, that's an important point. Yeah. Because if you're not seeing the world that way, then you're in this this. Oh, I don't know. I think it was like like a merry-go-round or something. It yeah. just keeps on going, and and if you know the the idea of blaming and everything is coming up, and uh, and it's always something out there that's the problem. So it's an important point to to understand that that fear is driving it all, and that people are not responsible and or to blame in that in that sense. That's right. Um, because they're just reacting to the fear. That's right. Compassion is what's needed. And compassion is the ability to feel what others are feeling, including the, the hatred, the haters, is to feel what they're feeling. 
That's what compassion is. And, <clears throat> well, I guess that's all. I'm glad you gave me a chance to uh, speak about that, Vera. Um, You're welcome. It's, my, it's the focus of our work now, is to get this out before it's too late. And, uh, and there's nobody, that, the thing about it that is so fantastic and so um, hard, is that it is so easy. Nobody has to agree to anything. Nobody has to decide that they are on this side rather than that side. Nobody has to say, oh, okay, I, now I, I'm, I'm going to be different. I'm going to go ahead and be that kind of person, not this kind of person. Doesn't need any of that. Yeah, that it that's is, the same old thing. That is, that's, that's exactly right. Deciding who which person to be. Is that's right. right. That's, what, that's what we're yeah. doing. And this doesn't do that. It takes one touch of your mind with the actual nature of you. And that is all it takes. And we have seen now, over these years, the last eight years, the first ten years, like I said, we were uh, self-inquiry people and, uh, and, and got disillusioned by the way in which people were using it as more of a and more of a cushion than anything that's going to change their relationship with their own lives. And uh, all the things that people have tried, everything, doesn't matter, war, no war, peace, everything, nothing has worked. Nothing works because everything is coming from that bed of fear that is present in the minds of those who are doing whatever it is they are doing. And we have to see that. Those of us who are, who are past that have to see that and have to be helpful to people and have to do something to make them more, to make this uh, more completely known in the world. All right. Anything else? Mm -hmm. I do uh, no, that's, that's it. It's just uh, wonderful to speak with you again. And same, you. same with you. It's good to see you there, really. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to speak about this. Okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. Anybody else want to talk? Okay. So, if you care at all for my opinion of things, and if caring for my opinion of things leads you to some understanding as to the actual nature of what's happening to the world today, which is not the fault of any particular person, then help us. Really, help us. Speak to people. Speak to yourself. Speak. Speak out against fear. You know, Franklin Roosevelt famously told us that the only thing we have to fear is fear itself. And that's the truth. That's all. Don't know how much he knew about that, but we all have a sense of what's real that buried under the garbage pile of fearfulness and anxiety that we have, that has been foisted on us with, for no fault of our own. So I agree. The only thing to fear is fear itself. And actually, fear itself is easily done away with. So help us as, as best you can. Uh, you know, you, you can, anybody who you speak to that shows some uh, opening to hear what's being said, tell them about it. See if you can help them. Send them to the website. 
And if there's nothing else that you can do, and you have any money, donate. It's going to take money to get this done. And we're running out of time. So help us. Spread the word. I am so grateful for all of you and all of the thousands of people who we hear from all the time with uh, gratitude for what has happened in their life. All right? Well, here's a, just before I go, let me read you a recent uh, uh, message, post in the forum that uh, was just recently done. Okay, here it is. This is a recent posting in our forum. I'm reading the quote now. I started doing the looking about two and a half years ago. I remember a day when I felt something happened to the whole structure upon which my psychological life had been built. It seemed to vanish. I was left just lying on my bed laughing. <laughs> I can, excuse me, I, I can remember you. Yeah. I understand that. So, because he says, I was laying on my bed, <laughs> lying on my bed laughing. It was like a burden had been lifted. The whole burden of one's personal story. Though it can only be described looking back as there was no idea that anything had happened at all. I seem to be contradicting myself here, but it's all very difficult to express. Since then, my life, rebuilding itself in some way without the old ground of anxiety, which had always been a sort of background noise to life. John describes this recovery best, and I can but confirm what he says here. I know that my life is free of the constant vigilance I kept against what might touch me in a deep way. I feel grateful for my life, including the past. The past I had, which in many ways was very rich, although I am free of any nostalgia for the past. I would say that life is richer, but then it has always been rich. There was never, nor is there now, any moment that was not full and satisfying. Once that fear was gone, life began to expand and become more inclusive. I was heavily into self-help, feeling that I was wrong somehow, needing to fix myself. It all became very tiresome, and this self-involvement led me down some rather destructive roads. I can safely say the quest for a better me is over. I do not seek to idealize myself or others, and this makes it easier to get along with people. And there are the ways life has changed which are really beyond words. I have also left alcohol and sleeping pills behind for good. I remember doctors telling me I would never, never kick the pill hat. All I have to say is that the need just fell away. It's been two years since I last had a drink and no desire to, to, and no desire to start again has returned. I would also wholeheartedly agree with John that life is still to be lived that it goes on, but is now to be lived fully and without the reserve or doubt that plagued me for so long. I look forward to life instead of feeling I had, no, had to protect myself from it or avoid it. I still practice the 
directed attention exercise, which I found very helpful in the early stage of this process. I would strongly encourage people to give this very simple act a try. Thank you, John and Carla, for all you've done to bring this simple act to our attention. In this report, this is me now, this report is entirely in keeping with all of the reports we receive from people. People are always surprised at how easy it was, about that really nothing they did had anything to do with anything. The healing happened on its own. And pick your, your favorite villain, your favorite villain, whatever your favorite person that really needs to have something done about. Think about that person, your favorite enemy. And consider what it must feel like to them to have a mind that is constantly goading them to protect themselves, to get what they need before somebody else gets it, to, well, you know, all of the, the uh, stupid stuff that minds take in, drawn by the fear. Okay? Pills didn't, didn't help this person at all. They brought him to the point where the professional psychologists told him he would have to take these pills forever. And then, without anything, the need for them fell away. You hear that? They just these things just fall away. There's no drama to it, which is one of the reasons it's, it, there's just no drama to it. It's not an explosion that knocks out all your stupidity. It's a, it's a silent, quiet change in your point of view. So help us, one way or another, Pray for us, take care of us, uh, bring us your problems, bring us your successes. There's nothing whatsoever that is of any importance other than you and the people who, like you, have come upon this work and made it their own. And if you, and, and regarding money, money is just, there's no way around it. If you don't have money, see if you can give us some ideas to help us find ways to raise money for this work.
Thank mm-hmm. you.